you guys, it's snowing again. And the snowflakes are way bigger than they were last time. And they're all coming in and sitting on my windowsill. guys I just sent Enody off to Kija with Robert Robert is in a play this weekend so he has rehearsals all week which means I have the pleasure of hanging out with Ruby all day every day this week um hey Rubes hello snookily toops hi I started knitting a pair of socks for Enody so we're sitting here watching a little bit of trolls which I don't know if I mentioned but Enody and Ruby hi. are Hi! Are obsessed with trolls. They really, really love it. I'm knitting a little bit on a sock for Elodie. So she chose this super glittery yarn. I cast on this sock for Elodie. It's a yarn that we kind of dyed together. She chose the colors that she wanted and I kind of showed it to her as I was making it. I knit her a pair of leg warmers out of the same yarn. And so I thought that I should knit a pair of socks for her. I'm using my Mrs. Brown's bags that Jody made for me, which I love. I really, really love it. I feel like it just fits the yarn so perfectly. The pink yarn and then the pink dots. And I'm really excited to work on it. So I'm sitting here drinking a little bit of tasty coffee and doing a little bit of knitting and hanging out with my roots. <laughs> She's scared of the snow. We've just come in from being outside. I have my massive woolly cart sweater on. I really love this. It is huge, oversized, warm, but then it has this really sweet bit of lace at the bottom. Anyway, it's it looks like a grandpa cart sweater from the top and then at the bottom it has that really sweet little piece of detail. So I'm going to sit down and just do a little bit of knitting on Erodi's socks. I want so badly to finish the first sock tonight. So I showed you guys this before. It's my Mrs. Brown's bags bag and um, I'm down to the heel. I'm doing a fish lips kiss heel on the sock and I'm really excited to knit on it. I'll knit on the foot, I think for 14 centimeters and then do the decreases, maybe 15 centimeters. I'll have to have to see. So I'm knitting these on um, Zing 60 centimeter circulars. I like to do my circular uh, socks with the magic loop on 60 centimeters. Now I know a lot of people like, I think the 80 to 100 centimeter. Hi Ruby. Yum. Nummies? She's coming to join me at the table. Oh, I don't know, hopefully she doesn't see my chocolate. Um, I like to do mine on the 60 centimeters. I just like a very, very small cable. The next two patterns that I plan on casting on are the tiny window cat, which I've already talked about, and then the seahorse, which was gifted to me by the lovely Kristen of Yarngasm podcast. I can't wait to knit both of these. Um, who knows, maybe I will get the kitten cast on tonight. I'm totally looking forward to doing that.
going into the shop on Monday along with a couple others that are still finishing up drying but these are the ones that I got tied today. Buying up Sea Serpents which is a new colorway and after all this time this is the way Sea Serpents look looks on Gold Stellina and this is the way it looks on Cashmere Merino. This used to be my Bakken base. Now I just call it Merino Cashmere. It's 70% superwash Merino, 20% Cashmere, and 10% nylon. I think something that a lot of people don't know when they are using like a Cashmere Merino base is that the Cashmere in the blend is almost never superwash. So while it is a superwash Merino, the Cashmere isn't superwash. So you have to be pretty careful with how you handle socks, especially if you knit socks out of this, because I know a lot of people want their socks to be hard wearing. And I know that some people do knit socks with the cashmere merino yarns. <clears throat> and you will get a lot of um, felting for sure if you put, put those in the wash. Um, if you hand wash them, I just, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using it for socks I, anyway. I feel like I've really changed my mindset just very very recently with how I knit socks. I started knitting socks out of wool nylon blends. I had never used merino yarns to start with and I started knitting when I was seven. I didn't start knitting socks when I was seven. I started knitting socks when I was, I really have no idea, 15? Or so maybe and um, at my Aunt Becky's house actually it was the first time that I ever knit socks I had visited with my grandma Sue and she gave me a pattern that she uses my Aunt Becky and oh my goodness I had so much trouble knitting that heel but anyway my thoughts on socks <laughs> I first started using wool. Now I have been knitting a lot with merinos. I think if I'm knitting with hand dyed yarns, I really, really, especially if it's a specialty hand dyed yarn, want to be using those BFL um, blends just because I feel like the merino socks, they're so beautiful. They can last a very long time, but I just feel like Robert and I were having this conversation last night. They definitely aren't as warm um, as a pair of like wool socks that doesn't have that really, really fine micron count or a BFL pair of socks for sure. So this is just kind of a theory that I have that I've kind of noticed in the socks that I do have. And while the Merino socks are amazing, I feel like for inside house socks where it's not so, so cold, I feel like now that it's snowy icy and in the negatives here that Elodie especially needs warmer socks the merino socks aren't keeping her feet warm enough so I'm going to knit her a pair of I think BFL socks or a pair of DK weight socks I haven't decided yet at all but I'm starting to feel like those gold Stellina merino socks are maybe more for inside socks or when it's autumn or just just not as cold as it is right now. She definitely needs a warm, warm pair of socks. She's also pairing um, the socks that she does have with um, a pair of normal socks. So a pair of store-bought cotton socks along with her uh, merino socks. So she definitely needs something warmer. Elodie and Ruby just got out of the bath. So I have um, picked up my Ziri cardigan and I'm just adding some rows to it. I haven't 
I haven't knit on this for quite a while. I feel like a week, a week and a half. Cookies are done. Elodie and I baked some chocolate chip, chocolate and white chocolate chip um, cookies. So I'm gonna go and see how they look. Let's, let's take a look. They're looking good. These are amazing. So yummy. Do you like them, Elodie? Do you like them as well? <laughs> 